Let's explore how to create dynamic pages on Editor X. Dynamic pages are site pages that change their content but keep the same design and layout. On Editor X, any dynamic page you add is connected to a collection in the Content Manager, so you can design the page once and automatically create additional ones by adding items to the collection. They're useful for displaying content like real estate listings, blog posts, or, in this example, to showcase a project portfolio. Let's dive in. On this home page, we're showing some information about our projects in a repeater, but we have more detail about each one stored in a collection in the Content Manager, which we want to display on individual pages that visitors can click into. Let's take a look at the collection, which we can access here. In this collection, the data about each project is organized in rows, which are called items. Our items include the project name, a detailed description, the type of project, and a gallery of images. To display all of this content, we'll create a dynamic page that's connected to this collection. There are three types of dynamic pages we can add, a blank one, a dynamic item page that's pre-populated with some design elements, or a dynamic list page to show a preview of all the elements from a collection. We'll choose a blank page and design it ourselves. Okay, so our dynamic page was generated. You can see from this dropdown that each item in the collection is listed, and we can navigate between them here. We can find the dynamic page, which is like the blueprint all of our item pages get their design from, in the Pages panel. We'll design this like any other page. The difference here is we only have to design it once, and the changes we make will apply to all of the item pages. Let's skip ahead a little. Okay, we've created our design with placeholder content. Next, we'll connect each element to the content in our collection with the dynamic pages dataset. This dataset, which is called projects item, was automatically added when we created the dynamic pages. And this is what pulls our content, so it displays in the design. To learn more about datasets, check out our datasets lesson. Each element here has a corresponding field in our content collection. So we'll select each one, and choose Connect to Data, then choose which field it connects to. When we connect the elements, only the content from one item in the collection is displayed. That's because a dynamic page's dataset works differently from a regular one, and in this case can only access one collection item per page. We'll also connect this Pro Gallery to the Image Gallery from our collection, which shows up in the dropdown as its own mini dataset. There's also this Related Project section at the bottom of the page, which we'll come back to later. Now we've got all of our elements connected. And if we click from one page to another, you'll notice that each page is showing different content based on the collection item it's connected to. So how will visitors access these pages? You can link to them from somewhere else on your site, like in this case, with buttons on the home page. If we take a look at our collection, a new field was added with a unique link for each item when we created the dynamic page. You can see the field here. So we can connect the buttons right to the dataset. We'll select the button, and under Connection Options, we'll connect the click action to our project's dataset. Let's publish the site, and we'll see how it works. On the home page, we can click into a project, and on its dynamic page, we'll see all of the unique information about it. If we go back and choose another project, the page has the same design and layout, but the content is different. Let's take a closer look at this page URL. The URL determines which item's data displays on the page. The first part here is static. It's included in the URL regardless of what content is displaying. The second part of the URL is dynamic. And this is what determines what content the dynamic page dataset receives. Let's try the URL for another item page. It's the same story here. The first part of the URL is the same as the last page, but the second one identifies this unique project and only the content from this project is appearing on this page. Let's go back to the editor and see how else we can customize our dynamic page. We'll head to the Related Project section from earlier. We want this repeater to show projects that are the same project type as the one on the current page. This means we need to display multiple items from our collection. But we can't use the existing dynamic page dataset 
because it only has access to one item at a time. So we'll need to create another dataset that can access all the items in the project's collection. We'll name the dataset Related Projects and connect each item to its corresponding field. The repeater automatically displayed all the projects from our collection, but we want to show three at a time. We'll change that in the dataset settings. Different types of projects are displayed here, but let's tailor the experience and only present the same type of projects as the one on our current page. We can do this by adding a filter to filter out the projects that aren't related to the one on the page. Both datasets on this page are based off the same collection, and one of the fields is project type. We want the project of the related items to match the project type on the dynamic page. So we'll choose that field, set the condition to is, which means the fields have to match, filter it against our other dataset, and choose the same field from the dynamic page's dataset. When we apply the filter, you can see the items in the repeater change. Any items with a different project type to the one on this page are filtered out, and only the ones with an identical project type are displayed. You might have noticed the same page we're on is showing up under related projects, which we don't want. So we'll add a second filter. This time, we'll choose the project name field, set the condition so it isn't the same, choose our other dataset, and choose the project name field again so that the project in the repeater with the same name as the page we're on is filtered out. Let's preview one more time. Starting on the home page, we'll click on a project. Everything on this dynamic page looks great. And under related items, everything is displayed the way we want. We'll look at another project page. This one looks perfect as well. Editor X is an advanced creation platform. To master it, continue watching these series of video tutorials.